What's going on, guys? Jurassic here. Today we are back to Hello Engineer. Looks like your prize is going to be a brand new tire. Alright, load the bending frame it's from the library. Build the bending car. Alright, so this level you have to think of it a little different than the rest. So let's go ahead and just place it down so you guys can see what we're talking about. So for this bending frame, if you press up or down, you'll notice the shaft's going to be twisting. Instead of having your wheels come off on the right side like we normally do, so like right here where the face is facing that ledge, we're going to build it so we have an extension right here on the back, which is then going to allow the car to be able to lift up or lift down to be able to sink down inside of the area. So to start off, we are going to go with some blocks. See what we got. We don't want to go too far back. We do want to add in a little bit extra height in case we need it, so that should be good. Once again, you do kind of want to build this before you snap it on that. We can just copy all and just have everything match without having to do too much extra work on your own art. The boom and we need an engine. Once again, it seems like the regular engines probably want to be the best one, so i just place you down here like soup. Yeah, we'll even have you face the right direction for once. All right, so it's going to be snapping down to you. We're going to need a shaft, which once again, it doesn't necessarily matter how long you do it. We are going to have medium wheels because of some of them we do need to have good clearance. I don't think the large wheels would work. They might. Medium seems to always work, though, so that's why we're going with these. And this setup here theoretically should work on all of our areas. Move it around like so. Or we could have it go out on the front and have like a super long car. I'm going to have to think about that. Make sure you click select all if you want to copy all of it. We have it going on in the back. I mean, the edge is upside down, but it's still going to do like Roughly the same concept. But do we want to have it so it's like super long and cool looking in the front? Do we want to have it so it like goes back towards the back of the car? I originally was going to do it like this. But having it so it goes that way might look better. Let's see what we got with this. Alright, so we'll snap here on like here. Now then, theoretically, we should have huge height abilities. Grab our wiring tool. Back it into the back of the seat, and we should be good to go. Some of these levels don't give you too much actual material to build with. I think we're fairly close to the maximum amount just by doing some simple builds like this. I don't think we can actually go like too crazy. What we can add. Uh, let's see here. So we got some wheels. It's all basic engines, seats, decor. TV antenna. Anything that we can snap on the antenna to. There we go. We'll get some rear brake lights. So if you're following along, just so you guys are aware, there is eventually a bridge that we're going to have to cross and you want to have your tires sucked in as close to the body as possible. So that is why we ended up bringing them in a little bit. You can kind of cheat in this game to where the starting line is here and you can have your <laughs> vehicle long enough to where technically it's outside the frame as long as the as long as your chair is behind this dotted line. Technically, you're allowed to place it. So we're kind of cheating by having a little bit longer car. But that's fine. The back half here, we don't actually need to have it so we can turn because unfortunately it just does not increase that turning in this game. I tried to get it so it could get working, could not. 
So we just had the front hooked up. The back, you can have just like the regular pipe here. You don't need this whole contraption that we tried to build. But you still are going to want to have it so it can go up like we're doing now. So technically, we would normally start directly at where we want to go. But see this pile of leaves? It actually throws your car off. So I recommend having it a little bit to the left. That way you're able to get a little bit more traction. Try to avoid it some. It'll pull you towards it. But if you do it like so, you'll get probably the maximum amount of speed that you can out of the hole, at least. Which will give you a little bit more time saving in case something bad happens. There we go. If you get into a situation where your car is going to flop on the ground, you can go up and down to try to have it so your car is able to handle it. Once again, the turning on this car is not the best, so you want to try to fully complete your turns before you give it throttle. When going to eventually get stuck, then that's when you bring it up. Bridge here is kind of tricky. You just want to stick to it and you'll eventually make it to the other side. Ooh, what on earth is this? And they actually line us up. <laughs> Minute 10. Not the best time, but we did complete it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.